welcome back ladies and gents thank you for tuning in on today's video i have something very 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 interesting that i found that can dramatically affect the life of your engine and you need to know this it is up to this point that after many many discussions throughout the internet and through our bmw enthusiasts there has been no evidence of what i found until now check this out i came across this finding while searching for the mysterious n54 ticking noise i have on my car that is driving me crazy for some of you guys that need some updates on the previous video that i uploaded i asked the community and you guys to help me pinpoint what could be wrong with my car here's the clip so you guys know what i'm talking about So on my search to find out what the hell was going on with my car, I ended up ordering a couple of tools and a couple of things that I needed in order to test and find out where this ticking noise was coming from. And one of those tools is this one right here, an endoscope with a dual lens. That means that you'll be able to place this head right here with one lens in the front and then one lens on the side, both with light be able to stick this pretty much anywhere that it fits and have some video and visualization on what's in there so all you need to do with this is connect it with your phone through wi-fi and then you have the image in there or you could connect it to a tablet so what i wanted to do with this endoscope since my car has been sitting here for four weeks and i haven't turned it on since it's a key point right here I wanted to check out the condition of the injectors and see if any of the injectors are leaking. Then I'm going to be able to see if there is any fuel puddling inside the cylinder head and on top of my piston. And that's exactly what I did. I ended up taking each spark plug out to check out the condition of the spark plug and to get into the cylinder head with the camera. Here's what the camera looks like inside one of the cylinder heads. As I kept taking a look at each cylinder and the condition of it one by one, here is where it gets interesting. On cylinder six here towards the back of the engine, I found this, a small puddle of water on top of the piston. So you may ask yourself, how the hell is there a puddle of water inside the cylinder? Why water and not fuel? Well, because once I pulled out the spark plug, I noticed a liquidy spark plug and immediately thought that it was fuel, but it was not. This moisture was water, not fuel. And that, my friends, leads us to only one conclusion a missing cow and cabin air filter. When it's raining, water will eventually sip in through this crack and eventually make it to your engine. As you can see right here, see that? See how water gets inside the engine? because of not having this piece right here. So eventually that water will sip in on top of your engine. And if your car has been sitting here or there for a long time, then that water will eventually start filtering through the spark plugs and it will end up on your pistons. So it turns out that all this time that my car has been sitting here for the four weeks, it's just been sitting like this without the cabinet filters, without the car, and without the valve cover. And now that you know, go ahead and smash the like button, drop me a comment, and of course, consider subscribing for more automotive tips, tricks, DIYs, and N54 content. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next. <music>